What is up everyone, Kyle here. Today we're having a garage day. The blue car is up on jacks. We are getting the suspension installed. This thing is gonna sit pretty, hopefully. Uh, gonna put these wheels on for the alignment. I got an alignment tomorrow, so I obviously need to have suspension and everything on it for the alignment to even do anything. Uh, they say it's a very simple install. Well, not simple, but two to three hours, not like a weekend or anything like that. We'll see if I can get done in two to three hours. We'll find out, hopefully, but let's get going. So to get the springs out, you just have to loosen this up here, drop the sway bar, which allows us to drop a little bit. I got the pumpkin supported so that way nothing falls out, but this just pops out pretty easily. You just have to move all this down and all that comes out. So I got the first rear spring out. Need to unhook this from this side and unhook your sway bar to drop this all the way down. So that way the spring can just pop right out. The coil spring in the perch. This is actually is how you adjust ride height with that tool right there. So this goes on the bottom and that's adjustable ride height. These are their factory settings. You're good to go basically as is from them, but if you want, you can adjust it further to get the ride height that you want. Okay, before I get too far, I want to show you this. As you guys can see, perch sits on the bottom to make it super easy to adjust ride height. However, for these, I'm having a difficult time getting these off. So this top piece here, you can see it over there. Let me zoom in that top piece there. Kept spinning on me when I spin this nut. So I have to use vice clamps and a wrench. I'm just, I'm almost there. I just wanted to show you guys before I get it off that this is the setup. You guys might have to do see it all just wants to spin together. So don't forget on top of these, the hardware sits here. You keep this factory hardware. Obviously you'll take this off and this will just slide back over the top there that goes back in, helps prevent any type of noise or anything like that. So just cut those zip ties, those get, go back over and sit on the washer. So I took the time to put in this bar, strut tower bar in the rear, simply because these things, once I get them secured, I am never taking them off. They're just gonna sit like that. Don't forget your caps for your rear struts, so that way you can adjust them. They just pop in right in there just like that and then they just get hand tightened so everything is in got those your struts are in I'm gonna drop it down these are kind of tightened down okay, I'm gonna put everything back up just kind of hand tighten it throw the wheels on and then we are good to start see that's how they look good to start dialing everything in don't forget, these get tightened and the sway bar must go back. Other than that, not too much. Pretty simple on the rears. Ooh, hopefully, no hitting. Oof, look at that. A little bit of poke, but I can adjust that thing sits. Just the rear sits real nice. Those Shelby wheels on it. Perfect. Now, onto the front. Guys, just by accident, I think we will not have a rubbing problem. So here's the deal. Got the back lifted. Just kidding, because the front. So the back is up. As you can see, get ready to do the fronts here. So I just walked over to the other side to put the jack on the other side. And look at that. No rubbing. That's not touching. So I can fit my finger in there. No rubbing when it fully flexes. Because it's a solid axle. Basically, one side dips, the other side has to go up. That side's dipping, that side's tucking. No rubbing. So cross our fingers, we will not have any issues with that. That's awesome. Was not expecting that. Maybe, maybe, maybe these just might work. Like, fully actually work. But let's finish up the front here so that way we can see what it looks like all the way done. So just like last side, this is a little bit more intuitive on this side because you got upper strut mount bolts here, but we're gonna start with getting the wheels off. Well, upper strut mount bolts and you got end links as well for the sway bar. But I'm gonna take it one, one step at a time. I'm gonna get the wheel off and then just start plugging away. Okay, fronts are a little bit more going on. Obviously you got a bolt here, you got a bolt down there. You have to take off this end link. Be, it supplies with the shorter one for the sway bar. 
and then don't make sure, but oh, there it is. Right here, that's just a little clip for the ABS sensor. You gotta take that off because it's connected to the strut and you don't wanna pull that with. So one is out. These sway bar end links are giving me fits simply because they're on both sides. But this is why you need an alignment because it just sits like that when it's out. One eternity later. Okay, I'm gonna throw these packs. I throw these new ones on. The reason why this was so hard is because this car has 180,000 miles. They were rusted. They did every second now. These new ones should be a lot, lot better. Oh, yeah. They're shorter to the decreased ride height. But should be a lot easier to put on. This one doesn't have two different nuts like the other one. You had to have two sets of wrenches uh, to get them off. This one looks like once it's in place, you just tighten it down. So I'm gonna throw the, the strut in and we'll go. If I remember correctly, this is a guide pin and this goes towards the outside. Just kidding, it goes towards. No, it goes towards the outside, yeah. So this and this line up. Let's feed this thing through. two people this would be a little bit easier but I doubt I'm gonna put these on top so I kind of hold them we can get everything else guided in place Oh, one thing I forgot to do. So the ABS sensor in the back, looks like they supply it with a little. Looks like it's just like a hex key. Now the fun game of what size is it anyways? Ooh, first try. 
That is a three sixteenths. And then this little three sixteenths there. And don't forget to pop that guy back in. And then the sway bar. I gotta push it up a little bit. I'll just go right into there. So the sway bar is connected. I'm an idiot. So I'll have to do this side before let me attach that sway bar to the other side. So now same thing we did on that side, we're gonna do on this side. Hopefully it doesn't take as long. Those stupid end links. So my last video just didn't save. Oh well. Got everything all attached up. Make sure to attach the ABS sensor. And then it comes with its own little hex key there. Attach the AB sensor clip in the back. It is a 3 16 Now, with the end link here, as you can see, it doesn't quite reach. Not yet, at least, because it's attached to the other side. So I'll have to take the wheel off. So to get the, because the sway bars has tension on the other side, it's not gonna let me attach it to this side. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing we did this side, that side, pretty, pretty easy. Overall, uh, just unbolting. Hopefully the end links doesn't take as long as it did at this side. Screw those things. If they don't take as long, pretty simple install. Hmm, what do you know? Oh, that's why I couldn't get it off. This is when having a friend with an extra set of hands makes so much difference trying to guide all that in. Just kind of hand tight knees down so it has some type of support. But I will be taking them off here in a little bit. So I will, be, I will be retaking those off to put on the strut power braces. Let me just. Now it can't support itself. We're getting close to being done. So I'm gonna take off these bolts here, put the strut power brace on, and then just make sure everything's tightened down. point you can take these bolts all the way off uh, because they should, should be attached to everything else. Just kidding, I lied. Uh. Alright guys, there it is. It's all together. Suspensions in. Uh, front is just sitting a little too low. They are going to rub. 
I could probably stiffen it up, but I would rather just bring the front end up just a little bit. But look at that. Looks fantastic with those wheels on it in the black. Man. So tomorrow is the alignment. Everything's tightened down. I'm going to go over everything one more time. Tomorrow's the alignment. And then we can really start pushing the thing. Got the strut tower brace on as well. All the suspension parts are in. It did take me about four or five hours, four and a half hours, which is a little more than what they said it would, but that happens. Sometimes you can't get bolts off. Some things get rusted, you know, stuff like that. Nothing, no bolts broke as of yet. No bolts broke, but rusted bolts are just super hard to get out. But there it is. It's in, a little fine tune adjusting on the suspension, and this thing is ready to rock. Man, I'm excited, guys. Look at that. It sits super low in the front, definitely. I'm gonna have to bring the front up just a little bit, but you can see the back is just perfect.